October 15th, still no sign of the preacher. No records, nothing. Something tells me he won't stay hidden for long. For the Lord hath designed the most cruel and dark place. Yes, he has. It's where we put the heathen, the guilty men and women in his pavilion of pain. Where lakes of fire burn and hot coals fall as hailstones from a black sky. You see, Gotham's days are numbered. I've seen it. He's done shown it to me. He showed me the fire. He showed me the bodies writhing in flame. Because that's what's waiting for you. You who don't accept me into your heart. I am the messenger of truth. For the Lord hath anointed me with his sacred oil. He hath separated me above all others. And promised me and my children their rightful place. In the new kingdom. Yeah. That's right. You will be made princes of all the earth. Amen. <laughs> Blackfire's sermons are getting worse. He's not waiting for Armageddon. He's bringing it. And I'm going to be right there when he does. Tape 11, October 19th. Going back over some old interviews I did on Gotham's homeless. Numbers were dropping. No one knew why. I think there might have been a link to Blackfire. My name's Terry Noonan. I worked the sewers best part of 20 years. You name it, I've seen it. Walls of fat so thick they'd swallow you up. Rats as big as dogs. Enough teeth and hair to give you nightmares. It's a different world down there. I understand you've got a theory, Mr. Noonan. Terry, please. Some people like to think the homeless are disappearing because Gotham's pulling them out of the gutter. But you think different? I've heard things. Strange things. Voices. Chanting. Chanting? Like church. It's been like this for months. I hear it more often, and it's getting louder. Have you ever tried to find it? Hey, I ain't stupid. Besides, none of my business. If you were smart, you'd think the same. Noonan went missing not long after this. Cops found his body stuffed in one of those giant fat deposits. They said it was an accident. I figure he found something he wasn't supposed to. What the hell are you up to, Blackfire? Tape 23, October 26th. I was searching the archives and this little gem cropped up. Cops arrest a vagrant who's had a run-in with Blackfire. Guess we're starting to get some idea what this whack job's been up to. Please state your name. I haven't got a name. Not anymore. We're his children. His disciple. Who? Deacon Blackfire. The one true messenger. The redeemer. He can save Gotham. He can save us all. Well, he sounds like a nice guy. You mock me. You fool. You don't know the power you're dealing with. Okay, why don't you tell me? A thousand years he has walked the earth, and a thousand more he will reign. You're smiling. You think I'm crazy. Hey, you're free to believe whatever you want. I doubted him too once, and then I saw it. The blood is his power. He bathes in it. And I'm sure he does. You can see it in their eyes when he draws the blade across their throat. They see it then. The light. Okay, buddy. Take it easy. I have to leave. We have work to do. The final sacrifice is coming. It will grant him everlasting life. Hey, sit down. Restrain him. Get off me. An army of homeless killers? Human sacrifices? Bathing in blood? I hope they're planning another sacrifice. You can't win the awards without a little human tragedy. Tape 25, October 30th. Got my hands on this forensic report. Human sacrifice. It's real. They're really happening. The deceased M. Hollis, located in the abandoned premises, front-facing room to Hammond Close. Male, 33 years, approximately 6 feet, 210 pounds, brown hair. Found lying face up on a table central to the room. Contusions on the wrist and ankle, indicating the victim was restrained with a thick cord or rope. The neck has been cut. Deep incision severing the esophagus and main arteries. The body appears to have been drained of blood. 
Victim is naked. Clothes have been burned as well as personal effects. No sign of murder weapon. Symbols have been drawn onto the walls in victim's blood. Photographs locked. Scene secured by Detective Russo at 2100 hours. Something big's happening. Blackfire's here, I know it. He wants that final sacrifice, but where? I need that last piece of the puzzle, then bam, son of a bitch is mine. A big piece of the puzzle just fell into place. Lady of Gotham, that's where it's going down. I couldn't wait for you, Batman, sorry. This one's too important to miss. Guess you're wondering what the Lady of Gotham connection is. Turns out there was a black fire tied up with the Miyagani people. His name crops up in tribal stories. Seems like they shot him with arrows, shut him in a cave. You wanna know where that cave is supposed to be? You got it. Directly beneath the Lady of Gotham. Looks like the irony didn't escape our preacher. Cash ran this guy's prints. Turns out he's got a past. Tax evasion, fraud. One file dates back to the 20s. Cash thinks it's got to be a mistake. Part of me wishes Blackfire was telling the truth. I guess we all want to believe, huh? Too bad he's just another con man. <laughs>